Or perhaps, you know, in our top story today, it's the atmospheric river slamming California with that flooding rain, heavy snow in the mountains. And unfortunately, we've already had reports of mm -hmm. water rescues, car accidents, downed trees and power outages across the state. Yeah, over 35 million people in California are being affected by this powerful storm, but it's not the only concern mm -hmm. for the West Coast. Another even stronger storm is going to impact us late weekend, early next week. Yeah, on that note, let's take you out to Truckee, California, oh, where this camera us. gives me hives. Oh, Ooh. but look at Okay, this is different than the last time because the last time we looked at this camera, it was showing a different part of the roadway and yeah. there were semi trucks for mm -hmm. what looked like a mile. Yeah. That gave me hives just looking at that. But oh, oh, eh, it's like they heard us. Go. Oh, looks like there are fewer people on the roads. That's not that's not so bad. But at least you can see the snow is falling. The roads and spots are pretty rough and tumble, and the passes are kind of nightmarish today as you're heading through the Sierra. We have had some pretty hefty accumulating snow already in spots. More on that in a second. But I want to talk about the flooding rainfall because that's a big problem for Southern California, especially today. But you can see a pretty good chunk of the Golden State has flood watches and warnings out. Those watches are namely into cities like Sacramento, like Redding, all the way down to San Bernardino and San Diego. And then the warnings are right here in this bright green right across the coast. No coincidence, right? You want them to catch your eye because warnings are for when this weather is actively happening. So we have active flooding right now in those areas along the northern coast of California. Now back to SoCal, we have problems with the heavy rain in Los Angeles and areas like San Diego, even starting to get into the rainfall. Santa Ana, you're already soaked and Bakersfield, you're soaked as well. Sacramento Valley starting to get out of the rain at this point, but still a couple leftover showers in the Bay Area this morning. It's a day for the umbrella and it's going to be a rough day just because yesterday was so bad. It's like we're on the tail end of misery here. Now, I do want to mention that as we look across the Golden State, we're not done by this morning, even into this afternoon and parts of this evening. We're still pretty darn wet across Southern California, especially Especially. That's the bullseye for the rain today. SoCal is getting the worst of it today, while Northern California saw the worst of the rain yesterday. Here we go through future radar, 7, 8, 9 o'clock. We keep playing out the storm and we keep seeing the rain into Southern California. This is midday today, and you'll notice not just the cities, but even into the desert, we have some problems with rainfall. And let's get real. The California deserts, my friends, that bar for flooding is set really, really low. So with the rainfall we're going to see, I do have some concerns concerns, not just for, let's say, like Palm Springs, for example, but even as we cross the state lines and head out toward Las Vegas and even Phoenix by early tomorrow morning. You can see that rain making its way through Phoenix by the time we get to about 1, 2, 3 a.m. and still some showers left over as we end up with your morning tomorrow. Now, in terms of the snowfall, this is what I mean when I say it's good news, bad news. The bad news is it's a misery for travel, but the good news is that, my gosh, we need the snowpack in California. California sees 30 percent of its water supply through this snowpack. So when you get feet of snow, let's say the two feet that we could see in Donner Pass, that's super helpful for California's water supply. That said, again, travel is a bit mm, miserable today. Even into the Southern California mountains, it's not gonna be pleasant. Not quite the same as once you're getting into the Sierra. We're looking at inches rather than feet, but look at Big Bear Lake, three to six inches, but this is why you need the AccuWeather app on your phone. You ready for this? I'm gonna show you the AccuWeather exclusive winter cast. You can only get this on the AccuWeather app, AccuWeather.com, and right here on the AccuWeather network. Work. Three to six inches on the board through 7 p.m. on Friday. But here's the thing. Look at the percentages. If these numbers change, which they could, we're looking at six to 10. So a good chunk of snow on top of what we're already expecting. That's possible here, which is not bad news for the resorts. Folks skiing out with Big Bear would love this fresh powder. I'm, I'm speaking with a little jealousy at heart here. I'm not going to lie. But if this is not enough for you, Ariella, we've got another storm and more snow and more rain on the way. Yeah, Christina, just wait till you see the new rainfall map we put out for this next mm. storm moving through these numbers looking scary and this is going to cause some big problems an even bigger storm and the most uh, impactful storm I think so far that we've had this winter season. So I've circled what Christine has been tracking for today that plume of moisture moving on in but we look farther south and west out into the Pacific just north of Hawaii where we find uh, the next source of what's going to be bringing us big problems when it comes to flooding. Uh, yeah put the uh, strong wind on top of this down trees power outages. Look at some of these numbers. So now this is a long uh, time period. This goes from Sunday all the way until Wednesday morning. You can see the four different shades of green there. Uh, we're talking about areas like San Diego getting in on that two to four inches of rain in and around the LA. We could see uh, LA.
LA area. That's where we could see closer to the 4 to 8. And then north of LA, that's an area here highlighted uh, that we could see upwards of 8 to 12 inches of rainfall. So this is why we're talking about uh, this second storm being very impactful, endangering lives and property. Look at throughout the day on Saturday. We do get a brief break between the two storms that we're following here throughout the end of the week and then the one the end of the weekend into the start of next week. So that is at least the good news, but I do think there's going to be so many uh, big cleanup efforts throughout the day on Saturday with what's coming right now. Temperature wise, we do warm up a bit. Fresno 57, LA 62 and San Diego 63. That is your brief break before the next storm does move on in as we head into the end of our weekend and then the start of next week. And this thing could kind of slow down a bit and really continue to bring the rain Tuesday and even into Wednesday morning. So the renewed flooding threat, the mudslides, the strong wind at the coast, some upwards of 50 miles per hour and then several more feet of snow in to the Sierra. Looking at the exclusive Accurate other seven day forecast, a stray shower still lingering on Friday, Saturday clouds and some sunshine cooler. And then as we head into Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, we could be talking about uh, four straight days of rain in to LA. So not a surprise that we're going to get several more inches of rain causing big flooding concerns.